All right, guys. Hey, welcome to the Mix Club. I am Rhett, and today in this little short video, I'm going to talk about keeping the mix, keeping the song, keeping it simple. You know, and I don't mean any offense to this, but I remember back in the day hearing a lot, keep it simple, stupid. You know, and there is so much to this. Um, now, I know it depends on what type of music you're putting together, but I still think the fundamental fundamental fundamentals <laughs> the fundamentals guys i think still go across the board you don't need to force your music so in other words i guess what i'm saying if you have a song that's coming together and let's say you have 75 tracks and everything you add is helping then i guess in a way that's keeping it simple but if you're just sitting there trying to think, I, man, I need to add one more thing, one little more piece of ear candy. Um, I, I would venture to say that, that the track was probably done, done 50 tracks ago. You know, and I mean, it is different with different styles of music. But I'm going to give you an idea, guys. I love to put stuff together that stands on its own with not a lot of tracks. Okay, this particular track right here, now granted, it's a blues track. It has 13 tracks. Now, when I was doing this, I thought, you know, I'm maybe going to do another couple guitars, maybe another synth line, may, may, maybe another piano, whatever. But I didn't. And here is a track. Now, this is really short and sweet, and it was just for a video I was doing. And uh, it's a little blues track, so it didn't need a whole lot. But here's 13 tracks, guys. This is the drums. Uh, this is the keyboard, you know, which is B3, couple three guitars in here. And here it is. I'll let you hear just a bit of it. Okay, so you get the idea. It's a pretty simple track. So I think that, you know, something to keep in mind and the point that I'm trying to get across here in this video is keep it simple and serve the music. So always think back when you're doing it, as I said in the other videos that I've been doing here recently, when it comes to EQ and stuff like that, definitely try to get your tones in the beginning build the mix as you go because the end result is going to be a whole lot better if as you're building that mix everything fits everything works and when it comes to adding tracks i think in the back of your mind always ask yourself take a break go get a sandwich go get a cup of coffee does this track really need anything else and it'll help you get to a point to where you actually can call a track done and you don't just keep that track sitting on your computer. The quicker you get your track done, the more you can do something with that music, whether you're making production music, stock music. Um, are you writing songs for somebody? Are you just trying to get better at your craft? What, whatever you're doing, I think it helps you get to the finish line a lot quicker. But anyway, guys, that's about it on this. That's what I wanted to touch on is just kind of keep it simple. And um, if you guys are liking these little short videos, let me know. It helps me out a bunch. And make sure and hit the like button down there. That helps a whole lot with YouTube's algorithm. And uh, subscribe and all that good stuff. Till next time, man, I'll see you all later. I'm Rhett with the Mix Club. Be safe now.